hello everyone now i want us to look at the developer tab on microsoft weed as you see there there is a tab called developer so this tab is used to create a document where you are going to have someone using it to have a template where they can have buttons already set for them and then they can insert pictures choose and select with a radio button or a checkbox so i'm going to show you how to insert all those controls that we find under developer tab but the first thing that you must know is that this tab will never be always available on your tools until you know how to activate it so the way you start by activating it is to go to file in case you don't find it you click file you go and click options and then you go to customize ribbon then on customize ribbon you will see the developer is ticked so in case you find that it's not ticked like this that is why you don't find it as a ribbon on the tools so when you go to file options and then you go to customize ribbon i'm doing it again and then you will see there you put a tick under developer so when you click ok developer is there so when i click developer i find the controls here under the group controls so probably maybe you were supposed to have a document that allows the user to choose between male and female using a checkbox so if maybe next to mail you were supposed to insert a checkbox you will go to controls and when you find check checkbox like that when you click it it will go where the cursor is blinking just like that and then there you are designing a form for someone to tick inside of it so when the cursor is blinking like this you will see there we have date picker content control when i click there then it comes where the case is blinking so the other one that you might also find it's when maybe you are supposed to have a control that will allow the user to insert a picture so when you click there then the picture will come where you want them to insert it so this is a control where they will click and then choose a picture from a folder somewhere maybe in the in the computer so as you are designing all this maybe you find that there's a tool that you don't find in this group then you'll have to go and click here where it says legacy tools then when you click legacy tools you will see that you have more tools appearing and you have even more options of inserting different tools so inserting a radio button is the opposite of having a checkbox and then maybe because a checkbox can select you can select more than one thing at a time so a radio button will work as you want them to select only one option let's say you have an option where there is true and then you have where now there is false so before this then now there must be a radio button so if you go there and then when the case is blinking there you choose a radio button like this and then it will appear there with an option for them to write what must be part of this the text that must come with this radio button so instead of having this separate we can replace that option there which says option button one and give it a name so if i right click and go to properties of that radio button you will see that there's a menu appearing here on the left whereby you can rename the text where it says option button one you can go to its properties here and find that radio button one and then change it to the caption that you want to put so instead of radio button one here under caption so that's how it is in if maybe you want to replace the radio button as a caption you can put what actually was supposed to be there so in case of having four separate here we can insert a radio button 
and also give it a caption false so it means now when i insert the radio button from the tools here then when it comes i can make this radio button 2 by right clicking go into properties and then caption change it to false so is the text that you want to show on the radio button there so this is when you have developed a document using the controls so this is under design view so if i click here where it says design view now i'm on another mode whereby a user will be able to edit or select or choose a date or insert a picture so this is when now the template is on a user um, screen on a the person who's going to use the template that i have developed so they can tick here to say that they are male choose false there and then click here drop down choose the date today's date or maybe go and select the date according to the month that they want january 2023 22 and then if they click this button here it will open where they have to navigate in the folders on this computer to find a picture that they want to show so in case if they want to show a certain picture they can go and find that picture and insert it so that picture will be part of the document so this is how you use the controls under developer tab thank you for watching mm -hmm.